Hi everyone, today we're going to be crocheting these medium sized handles and these are ideal for beach bags, purses, market bags, anything like that. And if you're interested in different sizes of these handles, you can check the links in the description. And for your handles, you are going to need two strands of yarn and it doesn't really matter the size, weight, brand or type. But if you want to copy exactly what I'm doing, I am working with the Lion Brand Yarns Re-Up Recycled Cotton and Polyester Blend Yarn. And these are size four and medium weight. And the color I'm using is Portobello. I'm also going to be using a size K or 10 and a half or six and a half millimeter crochet hook. And go ahead and grab both ends of your strands of yarn and we are going to be crocheting these simultaneously as if they were one strand. So we're going to attach our yarn to our crochet hook using a slip knot. And we are going to chain 36. Once you have your 36 chains in place, make sure you don't have any kinks or turns in it. And we are going to fold our chains like this to create a ring. From here, we want to be working in our very first chain and we are going to slide our crochet hook up underneath both loops of our chain like this. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through all of our loops for a slip stitch. And we want to chain one. And from here, you can line your starting tail up with your stitches if you would like to work over it in this next row. And so what we're going to do is we're going to dive right back into our current stitch right here, working in that back loop only. So this is the loop furthest away from you when you're looking at the V portion of your stitch. And you can line that tail up and we're just going to place a single crochet in the back loop. And we're going to place one single crochet in the back loop only of each of the remaining stitches in our row. So you should have a total of 36 single crochets. And make sure you don't accidentally work in your joining slip stitch or chain one when you get to the end of your row. And again, when you get to the end of your row, you're going to skip your slip stitch and your chain one, and we're going to place a slip stitch in the top of our first single crochet. Then we're going to chain one and dive right back into that same single crochet and place another single crochet. Then we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch in our row, going all the way around for another 36 single crochets. And again, we're going to skip our slip stitch and chain one and then place a slip stitch in the top of our first single crochet. Then we want to repeat our last row by chaining one and placing another single crochet back in our current stitch and then one single crochet in each stitch in our row. And you're going to skip your slip stitch and chain one and then place a slip stitch in the top of your first single crochet to join. So now you've created this little ring and what I want you to do is take your ring and fold it in half lengthwise like this. And once you've created your little fold or kind of a roll, what we're going to do is chain one and then we want to work around our little ring here with single crochets. So to do that, insert your crochet hook in your ring and then yarn over and pull it all the way back up to your little ridge here and yarn over and drop your two loops. And make sure that this loop isn't really loose on your crochet hook before you start your stitch. That's one thing I've noticed that can make this look a little bit weird. From here, you just want to repeat these steps until you have about 55 single crochets over your chain rope. And this does have a tendency to start to turn and spiral in. So if you start to notice that your stitches aren't winding up in a row, just move them up a little bit to adjust that. 
and you want to try to space these as evenly as you can and I found that 55 is just about right to give it the nice round curve that it needs to create a really cute handle. And you really don't want your single crochet stitches to be very tight. So you're trying to keep these nice and loose so that they wrap around the ring without choking it. And once you have worked your 55 single crochets around your ring, it should look something like this. From here, we are going to place a slip stitch in the top of our first single crochet to join our row. And now it is time to cut and tie off our yarn. And I like to hide my tails by weaving them in the direction that I was crocheting. And once the tails are really small, you can grab a smaller crochet hook and hide them in these loops right here that we worked over our ring. The only thing I recommend doing if you're having some trouble rounding out your handles is just placing them around your skein like this, and you can just let them sit overnight if you want. And I went ahead and repeated my process for another handle. So now I have a nice set of handles for my purses. And usually I place this portion on the inside so that this nice edge is sticking out like this. And don't forget to check the links in the description to see the beach bag that I am using these handles for. Thank you so much for working with me and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.